Hello YouTube, this is Alan Styles and this is... You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? happening people this is loud styles and I'm back with another commentary and this commentary is on magical Pakusagi again so I guess you could say call this Loudon versus weeaboos part two electric boogaloo or whatever little title you want to come up with this but again like I said this is magical Pakusagi and I'm doing another commentary on her so let me get my remote here and let's enjoy the fail. So I'm reading my comments and this one says you're not Japanese. Your Japanese sucks. Honestly, I was struggling to understand it. Well, obviously you don't understand that um you know, the simple fact that I am Japanese. As I said in my last video, if she's Japanese, then I'm Irish. Top of the morning to you and kiss my shalini. Duh. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've been saying it for, hmm, the past how many videos? Hmm. Hmm. You said in about, like, what, three or four videos? And, oh, yes, nobody still believes you because, oh, yeah, you don't look Japanese. You don't sound Japanese. Not all of the Pocky and manga and anime in the world will never make you Japanese. So get that through your head right there. Yeah, obviously you're not Japanese, so... You wouldn't understand. You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? So, whatever. I'm sorry you're retarded. And this is coming from someone who cold hardly believes she's Japanese. Yes, we're retarded because we don't follow in your own little cocaine field fantasy land that you're Japanese. So allow me to say the two follow-ups. Hypocrite! And... FOUL! This is why I'm on here. To help people that aren't Japanese get somewhat close to the awesomeness of Japan and its culture. So, you know, posting comments like that is just really stupid because obviously you wouldn't understand it. You're not Japanese, so. Hey, 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 Magical Pocky Usagi, uh, I got something to tell you. You're not Japanese either. <laughs> like this one. I doubt that you even live in Japan. Well, I mean, I told you I live in America right now. I absolutely hate it. I would love to go to Japan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, right there, right there. Aha! I caught you in your lie. Ha 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 You want to go to Japan? Wait, I thought you used to live in Japan. As you'll see, she'll try to like change up her whole entire story, but you got caught red-handed. You got caught like Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky with his pants down and a cigar in his mouth. Oh, damn. I mean, I used to live in Japan, but, I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. But, um, hmm. Let's read some more. All that Japanese stuff probably isn't your stuff. Well, you know, this is what I have to say about it. You're just jealous. <laughs> Why would I be jealous of something that is not true? Seriously, I want to know what you're smoking or drinking because if it makes you think all of this, then I need some of that. Like seriously, all the stuff that you've seen is 100% mine. 100% Japanese, 100% Akamis, 
deal with it. You know, I'm sorry you don't have as much Japanese stuff as I do, but you know, you just have to get over it because... Um, I don't want to be the most brutal guy on YouTube when I say the following, but, um, yeah, no one gives a fuck about all the Japanese stuff you have. Honestly, no one really cares, or they never will care. Even an otaku like myself don't give two cents about all the stuff you have from Japan. While you're over here sounding so conceited and full of yourself, like, Yeah, I got all of the best stuff out of Japan. Yeah, I'm so awesome. You know what you can do? You can take all your Hello Kitty fans, your Pocky, your anime, you can shove it up your narrow wannabe Japanese ass for a lot here. That's life. And, you know, ordinary people can't get what they want. But me, Japanese princess, I can get whatever I want. Wow. Wait, what's that, honey? You actually want to say something. Oh, shit, here we go. Okay, I just have a few things to say. If you think you are so Asian, can you speak a sentence in Japanese? Just, just one, just one sentence, and then can you show us what your parents look like? Your real parents, not, not fake ones down. Don't do Photoshop or anything, just your real photographic parents. Or a birth certificate, because I don't believe a damn thing he's saying. <laughs> Anybody can buy artifacts, alright? Anyway, I got an Asian necklace, you know, over there on the dresser right now. That don't make me Asian. So, in your face. And... Well, these comments are kind of mean. Welcome to the internet. Oh, here's one. You rock. So, blank. What these people say. Thank you. See, I like people like that. Lies are easy to believe, but the truth will always hurt. You deserve a pocky point. Was it fabulous fabu? You get. Five pocky points. So, matane until next time. We'll go on another adventure with me, Akemi, soon. And we'll also have an art lesson next time. An anime art lesson will be really fun. I'll teach you how to draw anime characters. And, um, they'll look amazing in Japanese as can be and maybe we'll even start our own Akemi comic book I don't know I'm kind of feeling in the mood for that so I don't know I think this was going on you like my hair I love it it's beautiful So after that last five seconds of wasted life, that was my commentary on Magical Pocky Usagi. For the second time, I have done a commentary on her. Yes, I know this commentary is outdated, but then again, how many YouTubers have you seen that have made commentaries that were like made in, oh, I don't know, since the beginning of YouTube? Anyway, I'm Lylan Styles, and I say good day. I say good day!